Yo, Flacco gets into a heated argument with L.A. rapper O3 Greedo, bro. This took place on the community YouTube page. Yo, shout out to A.D., bro. Let's listen and see exactly what took place. Wait, who calling you? Oh, uh, Greedo calling me right now. Keep up. All right, put the headphones on. Yeah, where well, Flacco in here? He right here. Look, he right here. Right here. Greedo, I love you. Yo. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I want to talk to you about music. I want, I yeah. want to be meaner to you, Flacco. You know where I'm from? Yeah, watch. Nah, you know where I'm from? What? No, like what? Like, like, like the gang stuff, or, or uh, like where? Uh, from... uh, yeah, the gang stuff. The gang stuff. Oh, uh, again, I heard from people that you're from Great, but I don't want to like assume. <laughs> okay, not me either. I don't want to assume it either because I'm on the road. But listen here, bro. Yeah. You can't, you can't just talk to everybody like you talk to everybody. Me personally, I shake shit up. You hear me? Yeah. Like without my. And then I'm a, a big hit outro from the hood, you hear me? Yeah. Like, my name is a straight. So, for one, you can't even talk crazy. Mm -hmm. But since you're talking about music, let's focus on the music. Yeah. All these Cali niggas you're talking about, they're my baby. You hear me? <laughs> oh, so get the green light. Oh, so right hey, hey, hey. Get the green light. Oh, three. Hey, get the green light. Right there. <laughs> you already know what's up. Hey, hey, no, no, no green light. No. <laughs> you whoop the right now. I'm set. You just some fat ass nigga. Who? It's funny when you be wrong. Everybody is clowning you, and you don't get it. But, but I have a platform. To get my opinion though, right? No, fuck that platform. You're a loser. So it's obvious that O3 Greedo was definitely trying to bully Poetic Flacco during this whole ordeal. Flacco couldn't get a word in. Is Flacco deserving of the bullying? In my opinion, maybe so. He was talking a lot of cash talk on DJ Academics podcast off the record. And it seems like that energy is coming right back to him now. So I'm really a rat, right? Like, I'm really wait, a snitch. Wait, wait, wait hold on. <laughs> I've gotten a rapper locked up already, act. You have? Punch me dead. That's facts. You got him locked up? Yes. No, you didn't. That was act. like a skit. Act. I have to call logs and the text from an FB. Listen, Russell, look, Russell, look. So you got a rapper locked up? Yes, punch me dead. That's guaranteed facts, right? They said, oh, he's like being investigated, right? Because last year, his homie had, had like passed away. And they were looking at him as a possible suspect, right? I'm gonna have this FBI agent contact you, right? You feel me, right? And then I showed a text, I showed a call log, and we had a extensive conversation that I, I can't share, but from- so, so you spoke to the detectives? Yes, and I gave all Fine. the information I can give, and a few months later, he was booked for a slew of charges. Perfect. I really hate rappers, right? Oh, okay, okay. Right, like, I'm really a rap. Like, I really tell, I really snitch. See, that was Flacco basically championing the idea of the whole snitching thing. He basically saying he's the king snitch. If anybody's gonna snitch on a rapper, Flacco says he's raising his hand and he's gonna be the guy that put these rappers away. The only problem with this Flacco is when the energy actually came to you, bro, you were mute in the process. Now, Flacco did go on academic stream after the ordeal went down, and he had to say a little something. Let's play that. We are Americans, bro. We should be able to speak freely, and as long as we're not disrespecting nobody, we shouldn't be terrorized and living in fear. Me personally, act. listen, bro, I have a $2 million life insurance policy. If I die today, act, my mama is a millionaire, I'm good. No is going to scare me into saying, bro, like, I'm not going to speak freely as an American because I'm not a gang member. Nobody is going to say I have to ask for permission to speak in America because I'm not a gang member, bro, right? Again, and if I got to die for that, I'm going to die for that, right? But, like, I'm never going to say, bro, I'm going to live like a slave in this country, right? Again, after 300 years of my people fighting to, to like, not, nah, bro, nah, bro, like, these can't put us back in chains, bro. Ain't happening, bro. Like, again... And if we fought to death, right, to, to, to um, get free from these chains that the white men put us in, I'll be bro, if I let some Negroes put me back in chains, bro. Now, to me, that was just crazy what Flacco just said, bro. Flacco just said he willing to die behind the content. Me, personally, I'm not willing to die behind this content at all, bro. Like, this is just content. Flacco, you don't have to take it that serious. You don't have to bear the cross thinking you're the Messiah saving all the content people of all around the world. Bro, 
Save your life, Flacco. At the end of the day, bro, some of these dudes will kill you. This is keep it a bean. Some people you can play with, some people you can't play with, man. I think in this situation, some people are willing to risk it all, bro. And you got to know who is willing to risk it all, Flacco. That's my advice to you, bro. I know personally, bro, I posted a video about O3 Greedo, and I got so much hate. Keep in mind, I really didn't know who O3 Greedo was. I'm one of those guys that, yo, honestly, I ain't know who he was, but apparently this guy's a big deal. But I posted a video, and then in like a few days, it had like 50,000 views, uh, hundreds of people commenting. And I'm like, dang, there was the whole round of situation. They said O3 Greedo snitch. I didn't say he snitch. I just asked the people, did he snitch? And they was like all on me. A lot of people were putting grape emojis. Apparently, he's a big crip. Grape, I don't know, bro. Like, this is, this is just street stuff. I deleted the video because I didn't want my name attached to it. Sometimes you got to know it's, it, it's not content, bro. That's the problem uh, with Poetic Flacco. I don't think he understand. Sometimes you just got to know, bro. This isn't content. This is real life. They will X you out in a heartbeat. But what do you guys think, man? Y'all think uh, Flacco was out of pocket? Do y'all think it serves him right? What do you guys think, man? I think man, he got to be careful about what he doing and... He got to do it a better way, bro. I want y'all to drop a comment, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, bro.